Yes, Armor Games. Hello everybody, I am Colfa. It's not just a name, it's an introduction, which is probably a strange way of putting that, but whatever. Um, this is, well, it's a Let's Play of Chibi Night, which, um, I'm sure there's a good number of people on the internet somewhere who know what Let's Plays are. Chibi Night. Press A. Yes, press A and D. Um, I decided that this is going to be my first Let's Play, and hopefully this is something I'm going to continue doing in the future. I don't know how many people are going to see this, or even if anyone's going to see this, but here's something. The once peaceful kingdom of Ukoku has been invaded by three fierce beasts. The beasts have ransacked the kingdom, many citizens have been slain, the town's wizards have gone into hiding. Legend tells of a small knight whose courage will defeat the three beasts and save the kingdom. Copyright 2010BombTunes.com Music by Brian Holmes, and special thanks to ArmorGames.com. And that's the introduction to the game. It's a fairly simple introduction for a reasonably simple game, and I chose this one not only because it's reasonably simple, which means it's probably going to be a little bit, well, easier to play for my first Let's Play, but also because it's, well, it's a bit short, so I should be able to finish it relatively quickly. Okay, here we go, here's a person. Save our land from the three giant beasts! You're our only hope! And here's a few random, uh, places. Here we go! Ooh, fountain! Hello, fountain. My master, Glitch, the blacksmith, was chased away by the beasts! Free me and I'll lead you to him! Magic footwear will let you walk on water! Okay, random thing to say. Um, I'm on water now because you've stopped me. Oh, I fell through the water. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's one little thing that is here. Hello, purple guy. And here's some of our enemies that, well, I'm going to be seeing quite a bit of. You're probably going to be seeing a lot of them, too, if you decide to watch this whole thing, if there's anyone actually watching this. And here's some of these strange cat-like things that like to jump on their mouths, apparently. I'm not sure what to call these furry slimes. Ooh, I can get more armor. Armor. Nifty! <laughs> yeah, literally, this is me. Hi, I'm the Chibi Knight. The Chibi Knight is a little... Uh, I'm not sure what to call that creature. With round balls for arms and legs. And basically just a head. Either that or that, that counts as full body armor. I'm sure it probably does. <laughs> full body armor that fits inside a bucket. I have a bucket on my body! That's a little odd. Ah! Oh, I got hit by the strange cat thing. Booyah! Yes, that's the way to say that. Um, this is, as I'm sure some of you might be able to recognize just from seeing what little has been shown here already, this is something of a reverent homage to the original Zelda 2 from the NES, I believe. And really, it's a really d well done one. I've played this a few times. And, um... Ooh, that was a heart! Yatta! Uh, it's really well done and really a lot of fun. I have played it, like I said, a few times. I've beaten it a few times. Yes, yes, yes. I'm playing a game I've already beaten. Oh my gosh. And it's not super long, which is really, if anything, its only downfall. Ah, oh, I died. Oh, so early and I'm already dead. But yeah, it's really sort of, here's the beach, a little bit short as compared to some of the other games you might be able to find even online, even for a Flash game. It's not super long. Of course, Flash games aren't meant to be super long. Most of them are supposed to be time, time wasters, really. Sort of coffee shop arcade, I think, is one of the old places, and that really describes what Flash games have traditionally been for. Just sort of time wasters, so that you don't have to, you know, sit at home and not have a video game to play. Oh my gosh. Or for people, I guess, in like coffee shops who literally want something to do. Ah, furry slimes! Die, 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 die. Oh, angry birds! Die, angry birds! I don't like angry birds. Die, die! Oh, you hit me! I am not a pig! Go away, angry birds. Uh, red mountains, which... They look kind of funny. They almost look powdery. Hmm. 
Anyways, die, furry slimes. And strange cat things that, like I said, seem to be jumping on their teeth. Ah. Oh. Try and get the heart and I nearly get killed for it. That's that should teach me. Die, cat things. Yes. Um like I said, it's rather reverent. It has a lot of humor to it. It has a lot of really cute cool, really cute sort of visuals. And well, if you've never played Zelda 2, this is pretty much how Zelda 2 plays. Danger is ahead! The canyon de beast devours all who enter its lair! Pronunciation fail! The canyon beast devours all who enter its lair. And here's a little- ah! Wrong button. Here's a little, uh, well, one of only like two or three such areas. Die, orange angry bird! Die, giant spider! Ooh, level up! I'm gonna wait so that I can upgrade my attack. Because I really need to upgrade my attack. But yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. And it's fairly simple. It's kind of short, yes. But that honestly kind of adds to it appeal. It's appeal. Because that means that you can finish it fairly quickly. Which means that you will um, not get bored of it. And not generally get too frustrated with it. And here's our first monster. Hello, Mr. McFluffinstein. Yes, that's his actual name. I know his name. That's almost sad. But anyway, Canyon Beast. Let's have a look at him real quick. Honestly, if you ask me, he looks kind of like a furry tentacle monster. <laughs> which is kind of strange. Ah, oh, he hit me with his tentacle while throwing furballs at me. And really, I think he's probably the grossest thing in this game. Because he's literally spitting on his fur and throwing throwing the spit on fur balls at you with his tentacles. Oh, he oh, shot me. Oh, and I fell on my sword. He killed me. And I come all the way back here. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna go straight back to him and try and kill him again. Stupid furry strange looking slime critters. I'm gonna wait for more attack. I wanna kill things faster. Die, 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 die. Die, cat thing. Yes. Great. Is right. And another spider. Gotta kill the spider. And some more angry birds. I think the yellow ones are the ones that go fast, right? I'll be honest with you. Although I have played angry birds and even have it, I don't particularly like it. It's not that it's a bad game or even not a fun game. I mean, I understand the fun of the game and... I've even gotten a little bit of fun out of the game myself. It's just, well, to be honest with you, I'm not really very good at it. Ah, even with me running away, he hit me. I'm just gonna have to run away when he gets... Oh, do you see that? My attack is really making a difference. I'm really killing him fast now. Yay, Furball Slayer, and he explodes. And turns into some boots, I think. Yeah. Yatta! Alright, armor. Great. And boots that are like seven times too big for me. They're bigger than I am! Ah, ah. Oh! <laughs> that was a really bad death. <laughs> yes. Save our land from the three giant beasts. You're our only hope. Wap, 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 wap. Bing! Oh, hey, wait a minute. I have boots that walk on water. Do I have to install them? No, I don't. I can just jump on the water. Hi, fairy thing. Thank you ever so much. Follow me on the map to find my master. Okay. I will follow you on the map. Does this fire hurt me? No, it doesn't. Aw. I wanted to get hurt by the random fire. Uh, hello, fairy pixie thing. Floaty, floaty Navi. I'm following Navi. At least this Navi doesn't say, hey, 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 listen, hey, listen, follow me. Oh, no. No, stupid dragon thing won't let me walk past him. Uh, stupid dragon thing. Island beast. Um, I didn't actually intend to go straight into him, but this is the second boss monster. Literally called Island Beast. He has a more official name but I, for the life of me, can't remember what it was. Hmm. I suppose it's probably something like Readery or something, I don't know. That would, that would be funny, but I don't think it is. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. As usual with critters of this type, the head is the weak point, and the only part that you can legitimately attack. Uh, don't want to get hit by more fireballs, or else I'll die. Die, 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 die. And kill the dragon, kill the dragon, kill the dragon, kill the dragon. Yes. This is, yet again, another repetitive boss, but because those fireballs move at different locations every time you go to see him, there is, although he has a timed pattern, it, it isn't a pattern you can really depend on because, like I said, the location that those fireballs land is random every time they shoot. It's usually not very far from him, so if you just run away from him, you can generally be able to get away from them. But because you have to be by him to attack him, it's <laughs> an unfortunately effective way of killing him. No, 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 fire, fire! Or I suppose it's a generally effective way of defending himself, since that's gen pretty much just what he's after, is he just wants to defend himself. He's just defending his home. Of course, he did kill a bunch of villagers, so... Uh, he's blowing me up. Die, 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 Dragon! Kill the dragon, kill the dragon. And I still don't have any magic, and I'm already killing the second boss. Oh, yikes. Die, dragon, go away. Uh, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. My sword is a gray stick. Ooh, Dragon Slayer. Look at his eye. Ah. Hmm, how much XP do I have? 290? I can upgrade attack. Nifty! Yes. Oh, did you see my sword? Uh, well, anyway, I'll follow the pixie. Oh. Whoa, I'm on a boat, man. Oh, I am Glitch the Blacksmith. Thanks for rescuing my pixie pet. Take this axe in exchange. Press A on the map screen to use it. It's strong enough for trees, but won't hurt enemies. Even though trees are like many, 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 many hundreds of pounds and enemies are like what little slime things. Anyway, I have an axe! And I can whack the water with it. Can I break your boat? Let me break your boat. Oh. The axe I gave you is perfect for cutting down trees. Won't but won't hurt enemies. Press A on the map to use it. Can I attack you? Oh, I guess I can, but it doesn't hurt you. Ooh, give me that rusted sword. I'll make it cool. <laughs> I'll make it cool. I'll upgrade it. Anyways, here I am. The town blacksmith built a ship to escape the beast. Sometimes I see it pass north of the island. Yeah, okay. Anyway, here's a little town. Hi, town. The beast destroyed our house. We need 100 cards of wood to rebuild. Wee. My grandpa wouldn't be would be so grateful for your help. Wee. Hi. Oh, and I just get booted out. I don't even get to leave on my own. Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, yep, I get to chop down trees. Yay for chopping down trees. Oh, chopping down more trees. Chopping down trees. 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 And I have a little wood counter in the bottom right corner. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can, but I don't know if you can see it. And more trees, and more trees. And the big ones are worth like nine or something, I think. So here's a big one with a bird in it. And it wasn't a tree. I'll go in there later. <laughs> um, more trees. 93, 94, 95, 90, oh, 101. I guess they're worth five apiece, not like nine apiece. Anyway, here we are. Where, where, where? Thank you so much for the wool! My grandpa wants to speak with you! How do you know? You didn't go talk to him. <laughs> May this spell shield you from enemy attacks. And this is probably the most useful spell I know of. Bong! Ah, die! Die! Darn. I guess he knows the shield spell. Darn. 